everyone. Thanks for joining us again for the next bit of our Easter story. So, what have we got so far? We've got a donkey that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on as if he was a king. And they treated him like a king, didn't they? Then we have our 30 pieces of silver where his friend Judas was paid um, to give him over to the people that wanted to kill him. Then we've got our cup where Jesus sat down with his special friends for his last special supper. He drank from the cup, didn't he? And he gave them a promise that we're going to hear a little bit more about in the next few days. So today we're going to open the orange egg. So here we go. Let's open it up. Oh, and inside some praying hands. Oh, I won't close that up because I'll get confused. Okay, so I'm going to read a bit from the Bible and then I'm going to talk to you about some of the story. And they went to a place called Gethsemane, to a garden. And Jesus said to his disciples, Will you sit here while I pray? And he took Peter, James and John with him. And he began to be greatly sad and troubled. And Jesus said to them, I'm really, really sad. He said, stay here and watch while I go off to talk to God, my father. Okay, so they'd finished their special dinner and Jesus took his special friends, his disciples, off with him to a garden. He asked them to wait and pray while he went to another special place in the garden where he wanted to pray alone. Now we know, don't we, that praying is talking to God and God was Jesus' father. So Jesus went to pray. He was starting to feel sad and he was starting to dread what was about to come because he knew that he was about to die. Now, Jesus had chosen to die, which sounds like a really funny thing to say, but let me explain. He once said, no one is gonna take my life from me. I'm gonna give it over. One of the amazing things about Jesus was that nobody else before him and nobody else since has been able to say that they are fully God and fully human all at the same time. But Jesus could say that because he was. He was both God and man at the same time. And he was willing to die because he loved his people so very much. And do you know who his people are? We're his people. I'm one of his people. You could be one of his people too. Anybody who believes and trusts in him is one of his people. Now the human part of Jesus didn't want to have to go through the pain that was about to come. He knew what was gonna happen. And none of us would choose to go through pain, would we, if we had the choice? But Jesus loved us so very much that he said to God, his father, if there's another way, can we do that? But if there's no other way, then I will do it. And there was no other way. So Jesus said, okay, I'll do it. And the reason he said that is because he loves his people so, so much. Now we're gonna hear some more story tomorrow, but for now, Let's put our praying hands on our tree. Where we're going to hang it, where we're going to be able to see it. I'm going to put it there for now. We might need to juggle things around a little bit over the next few days because we've got quite a few to hang up, haven't we? Why don't you come back tomorrow and see the next bit of the story. Mm -hmm.